Hey, I want to show you how to align entities to any position and with any precision you want. Usually in the past people used certain blocks to align entities. For example, you could use a trapdoor and a piston to align the armor stand against the trapdoor. Or use a sloped rail to push a minecart against, for example, a cobble wall or other blocks with special hitboxes. But there's a better technique that allows you to do any alignment that you want and not only specific alignment from certain blocks. And that is what I'm going to show you now. For this alignment technique, I'm going to use two tricks. First one is that when you place a minecart, it usually starts out in the middle of the block. But if you curve the rail, it snaps to the side. And when you uncurve the rail, the progress on the rail in that block is halved. And if you curve it again, it's halved again, and so on. somehow aligned a minecart, you can push a boat with a passenger inside against it. And then you can align other stuff against the boat. You place a minecart on a unpowered sloped rail. You can give it a one tick pulse and then it will move very slightly. And it actually moves by exactly one 128th of a block. So if you place 128 torches here, the minecart will have moved a whole block. I'm not going to do that now. And now if we want a specific alignment, for example, this specific alignment over here. So we want a point one two three four five six coordinate on the x-axis. That is very hard to get with a normal block aligning or should be impossible to get, um, but we are going to do that now. So I start off by placing the sloped rates like this. And let me get the mine minute minecarts coordinate display. Now we can see the coordinates are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And down here we have the binary representation of the x coordinate, which is quite long. And that is what we are trying to copy to the minecart over here which only has almost all zeros in this binary representation besides the first one here and with a exponent 4 over here that means it's 16 so the coordinate is 16 and over here that one is 0.5 and if we now move the minecart downhill by a bit you can look at the coordinates and see that there will be an extra one in there there you can see it. And now we want to start copying the last digits of this binary representation. So it's 1110. And now that I added the one here, I can add another one. So we kind of have a binary counter in the coordinates. So now I added three ones, and now we want to shift the coordinates over to the right by four digits, so we destroy that. Get a normal rail in there. And curve the rail once. And every time I curve the rail, the coordinates here shift to the right and one zero is added in here. So three times now and four times. And now we, I can place the scaffolding back. And we can see which coordinates we need next. So we have the 1110 and now we need a 1101. So if you don't have the minute minecarts mod with a binary position display, you can also calculate the position from uh, the coordinates that you want directly. You don't need a mod for that. So let me do a time lapse.
Okay, now I copied almost all the digits, but now I noticed that at the end, the first digits that we entered are almost reaching the end. So we have one more digit left. So let's use that one by shifting once. Okay, now all the last digits up to over here should be equal. And for the last digits, there's a simple solution. We just have to place the torch up to 128 times. So let's see what the last digits are. Here we have the five ones. Here are six ones, okay. And in front of the six ones, there are seven zeros. Let's double check that. Yeah, so we need an additional one in here. Let's try to get that. Is that correct now? Yeah, that looks good. You can also check the coordinates here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. As we expected, now we can break the rails place straight rail and we can for example get a boat and passenger for the boat and push boat against minecart and now the maximum coordinate of the minecart is the minimum coordinate of the boat you can align other entities against the boat or you could sit in the minecart yeah and don't have the boat next to it, otherwise it will be pushed. You could also, for example, sit in the boat and the player would be aligned perfectly. We can push another mob against the boats and therefore align it perfectly. So that, that is how you can align any mob in the horizontal directions. And if you want a vertical alignment, you can put the minecarts on a sloped rail again. And then from on top, you can drop a boat. And you can stand on the boat. Or oh. let another entity stand on the boat. And therefore, you can do alignment to any coordinate on any axis. Just have to calculate in which position you actually want the minecart. So if you align the minecart against the boat, you have to see how wide the boat is and how wide the minecart is and vertically it's the same just have to pay attention to the offset of the minecarts on rails so their location here let's actually demonstrate it data get entity i think it's snapping onto the rail and that's 0 0.625 blocks higher than the ground you have to be aware of that So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.